السلام ورحمة الله كافي اليوم حصتنا Solving exercises in the chapter 2 Electron configuration and the periodic table In exercise 6 Document 1 Represent The number of Of the composition of beryllium Atom The composition of beryllium atom According to the document 1 is an, we have electrons inside the nucleus we have a protons represented by positive plus sign and the other circle is representing the neutrons copy and complete the following table is a number of protons in the beryllium atom and the one two three and four so number of proton is equal to four number of electrons is also is equal to four one two three and four number of neutrons one two three four and five we have five neutrons the mass number a is the sum of protons and neutrons four plus nine four plus five is equal to nine a e is equal to z plus n electron configuration of beryllium for number four electron configuration would be k2 l2 the number of valence electron or number of electron in outer energy level L so we have two valence electron beryllium is Be to write the lowest dot symbol we represent the number of valence electron one and two dots position in the periodic table we have two energy level K and L so we have row two column since it has two valence electron two valence electron so the column will be column two okay part two write the electron configuration of is an electron configuration of magnesium atom lihil mg we have same column uh, with beryllium and in third row Third row mean row three. Row three means we have K, L, and M energy level. In same column as beryllium, same column mean we have same number, same number of valence electron which is equal to two beryllium has two valence electron then the electron configuration will be k2 l8 and m2 this is the number of valence electron as like as beryllium part three determines the number of electrons in nitrogen atom that found in same row as beryllium and we have with five valence electron same row as beryllium this mean we have row two this mean we have two energy level k and l energy level and five valence electron and the last energy level it has five valence electron level L then the electron configuration would be K2 L5 for the nitrogen atom to find how many number of electron we have two and five so number of electrons is equal to plus five is equal to seven electron this is the number of electron in nitrogen Exercise 7, the following table represent the select a section of a periodic table. We have 
relative charge of a proton is given 1 plus and the relative charge of electron is 1 minus. In this periodic table, we have different atoms like a hydrogen and sodium, hydrogen, sodium, and unknown element like E, A, D, and G. We have carbon and chlorine, Cl. Refer to the table answers the following question. We will answer this questions according to the given in the periodic table. Indicate the position of atom E and A. Atom E is found in row in second period of row two and in column two. So E it is in row two column two. Atom A or element A column thirteen and row three. So row three column 30. Write the electron lowest dot symbol, electron lowest dot symbol for chlorine. Chlorine according to the periodic table it is in column 17, is in chlorine in column 17. Then it has seven valence electrons. So the lowest dot symbol is chlorine Cl, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. This is the lowest dot symbol, and we can write it as, or I can write the lowest dot symbol as following, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 1.3, write the electron configuration of sodium. And carbon according to the periodic table, sodium is written as Na11, and carbon has carbon 6. So, write the electron configuration we write in a neutral atom, number of electrons equal number of protons is equal to Z, the atomic number, which is equal, then we can write sodium, and E has 11 electron, so the electron configuration will be K2, L8, M1, and for carbon, has atomic number 6, we have 6 electron, then it is K2, L4. This is the electron configuration for sodium and carbon. Justify the number of valence electron is then we must justify our answer. Explain what is the valence electron in G and D. If we return back to the periodic table, G and D are in column. 18. G and D are in column 18. G is in row 1. Ready for row 1. Okay. With D in row 2. Then. G. Row 1. Then we have energy level K. Column. 18, this means it is, it has saturated energy level. Every element in column 18, it have a complete energy level. So, G will have an electron configuration K2, so it has two valence electron for D then we have row two this mean we have K and L and and has a saturated energy energy level K2 L8 then and the eight valence electron for D another part part two 
right? We have an element A of Z to Z and A as we in part previous part it is found in row 3 column we have mentioned that here row 3 column 13 then row 3 we have 3 occupied energy level 3 energy level it's R, K, L and M column 13 We have three valence electron, so we have K2, L8, M3. The total number of electrons is equal to 2 plus 8 plus 3 is equal to 13. Since the atom is a neutral, number of electrons equal to number of protons. Since number of electrons equal number of protons, is equal atomic number then it is and has atomic number 30. Deduce the number of neutrons in A according to the representation the mass number of A is equal to Z plus 1 and we have 2 times 13 plus 1 is equal to 27. Well, A, the mass number A equals Z plus N, then N equal A minus Z equal 27 minus 13 is equal to 14. This is the number of neutrons, and we must write A represent the mass number, Z represent the atomic number, and N represent the neutron number the atom A loses 3 electron atom A loses 3 electron to form an ion translate the statement into an equation form A and atom A is it changed into ion when an element or an atom loses electron is it changed into a positive ion since it loses 3 electrons I write here plus three electrons and the charge will be equal to a plus three or three plus calculate the relative charge of the ion form to calculate the relative charge number of protons we must find we write the number of protons is equal to number 13 and number of electrons in the ion is equal the number of electron in the atom minus number of electron loosed nice number of electron loose is that since we have an atom loses three electron we have 13 electrons in the atom since it loses three electrons so it have 10 electrons. The ion has 10 electrons. To calculate the charge, the charge is equal to the charge of protons plus the charge of electrons. Charge of the proton, we have 13 protons times the charge of one proton is one plus. Plus, number of electrons is 10 times the relative charge of electron is minus 1 or 1 minus so 13 plus plus 10 minus we get 3 plus which is the charge of this ion write the electron configuration of the ion form since we have 10 electrons we must write the, electro the distribu distribution of 10 electron K2 L8 this is the ion electron configuration or the electron configuration of the ion formed after losing and after losing three electrons.